Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the middle of October 2020. Uh, this month, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Aquarius, let's see what we have going on for you this month and Aquarius. Very interesting here Aquarius definitely trying to this looks like you trying to remove all all types of toxic energy from your life in general so I like to see that but uh, your overall energy is the bat so <laughs> I feel like you could be doing a lot of things behind the scenes for sure I feel like for some of you this is there's something about true intentions needing to come out in a situation here Aquarius I would say I don't know if this is you or your person and again this doesn't have to just be love this could be like family members or with family or with a person in your family or a friend or something like that but there's something about an intentions needing to come out in this first row again as I clarify I always get more details anyway but I do feel that for some of you it's like there's a fear of being burnt with this king of wands and again I'm going to talk about that more in a minute. This card also wanted to come up. Yeah, and that, uh, this is a page of wands here. Like definitely needing to have a new beginning uh, for in, the, in this month. You start off with this um, clean it up card. I do feel like for some of you, you could be kind of like cleaning up karma or cleaning up things, you know, some challenges that you've been going through. Probably um, with this five of wands, I feel some of you have experienced. I'm getting confusion on that card as well. You know, it's a card of conflict and competition, Aquarius, but I do feel for some of you, it's like you're clearing up confusion, uh, challenges, pretty much anything that you've been going through at this time. Yeah, you have the milk and honey card as well. Really nice card. So it's like you're doing this so that you can probably just improve your life in general. You have the Nut of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the King of Wands showing up here. Again, I feel like something, I get intentions for some reason on that King of Wands. Again, I read intuitively and uh, I don't just regurgitate card meanings, but I'm getting something about true intentions popping into my head on this King of Wands here. Even if we go this way, King of Wands to the Page of Cups, Six of Swords. It's like this could be like a love offer. It's like you want to move towards someone, but it's like you have to let go of some baggage with this Six of Swords. So or it could be a person, again, your person uh, or someone in your who's coming in uh, could need to let go of some baggage, I feel, with this Six of Swords. But let's let's get started. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Wands in this first row here. I do feel like for some of you that, you know, you could have a choice between someone you see as a knight in shining armor and someone who you see as maybe being more stern, more strict, someone just different. So for some of you, I'm wondering if this is a choice between two people in love. For others, I just feel like maybe you thought someone was your knight in shining armor, and I feel like they turned into this right here, the emperor, but probably the more toxic side of the emperor, someone who's too stern, too strict, someone who can't have a good time, someone who can't have fun, basically, and you know, which is kind of sad, really, honestly, but I do feel like for some of you, this could be you having dealt with someone who just can't have fun in life. They just can't loosen up um, in general, no matter what. So we're going to pull an outcome row, and we're going to see what happens here, but uh, next, you have this um, this page of swords here. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying that you are kind of like analyzing things. You have these seven of pentacles right here. So a lot of analysis, a lot of looking at where you want to put your heart with this energy as well. You have the seven of pentacles, page of cups, seven of wands. Seven of pentacles is like where he's looking at all that growth that he has created. And he's saying like, was it worth it? So for some of you, you could be deciding whether or not to invest in a situation, or you could be deciding, you know what, I'm going to move on to something new. I do feel like for some of you, you're definitely moving on with the six of swords towards calmer shores, but probably towards better love. Or, um, you know, if you're like leaving a job, for example, you could be moving on to a better job with this top row. It's pretty simple. Like I said, this is a pretty simple reading in general, I would say. But for others, I feel like you're kind of looking for true love here. I'm, get, I'm just getting true love on this page of cups. Page of cups is something special, you know? It's like there's that fish in that cup and it kind of represents something that could slip away. Um, this is your knight in shining armor right here as well. 
So I feel like for some of you, it's like you could have your eye on someone or you could be meeting someone soon and it's like you're not gonna, definitely not gonna want this to slip away from you. You have this seven of wands here as well, needing to open up. So again, I feel like for some of you, maybe you thought you had a knight in shining armor in the past. And this is pretty simple, just saying that you didn't and now you're moving on to someone new. And I would just open up with that seven of wands energy there. For others, I feel like boundaries could be a challenge here, especially with the devil. So some of you could be dealing with challenges with boundaries in relationships. And maybe that's what you're currently going through right now is this half of the reading, or I wouldn't even call this half, but um, you know, this part of the reading could be saying that you're dealing with um, challenges with boundaries in relationships. And maybe you're just trying to set those boundaries. This is all your relationships though. Um, you know, lo not just love, family, pretty much everything. And I feel like you could be kind of dealing with that. Um, I feel like you are very future focused at this time. You have this future card here. So I feel like you could be very focused on improving the future. Yeah, look at this hidden talents as well. For some of you, I do feel like you could be discovering a hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability. And this could lead to a lot of success for you. Um, even that Knight of Cups is your dream life. And the Knight of Cups says you need to like move towards your dream life. But you have these Six of Swords, the Devil in the emperor here uh, in a lot of ways i feel like you're just moving away from someone who is just too negative almost is what i'm getting on this devil card and this emperor card i feel like this is one person that you've been dealing with for a while here for some of you i feel like it's definitely love and for others i feel like it could just be in like work or business but just someone who's just too miserable basically in life and i feel like you're probably moving on to something new here so let's um i'm just going to immediately pull an extra row because i do want to um, see what the future has in store for you um, in this situation. Uh, it's not really immediately clear to me, so uh, that's why we're going to pull an extra row. The fork in the road, definitely a choice to make between, um, you know, this person who is too miserable or another person, or, you know, again, if this is work, obviously you'd have to go find a new job. Three wands, definitely thinking about taking a leap here. <laughs> Uh, temperance, being, trying to be patient in this devil um, situation here, Aquarius, and the four wands, moving towards happiness is what I would say to you. So for some of you, I feel like you have a choice to make. Obviously, Seven of Pentacles. I really feel like you need to follow your heart. Gemini had a very similar message as well, Aquarius. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, you might want to watch that reading. But Three of Wands, waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be one. I do feel like there's a need to take a leap of faith here. Temperance, trying to turn a situation around. I feel like for some of you, you could be trying to maybe heal this emperor person here. Could be an Aries. I don't really, it's weird because I don't really get Aries. It could be an Aries for some of you. It could be any sign. I feel like they're just, um, you know, kind of coming off as very stern, strict, um, and not happy. So some of you could be trying to fix, or you have tried to fix a relationship situation in the past. It's like you tried to turn this around, but um, ultimately I feel like you see something that makes you very happy with the four of wands. For some of you, I feel like this part of the reading <laughs> now is just like all this past toxic uh, stuff that you've dealt with with a person or with multiple people and I feel like you know that there's more to life with the four of wands it's like you see these people on the other side of these four of wands here celebrating um, you see these other people having a good time and it's like you I feel like you want a piece of that here Aquarius so in a lot of ways I feel like you are just deciding to um, you know cut anything toxic out in your life and you're deciding to make your move here uh, on this four of wands for some of you I feel like this could be you moving towards a person who makes you very happy so again, if you have a choice or again, maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but maybe you've kind of dealt with this toxic person in the past and there's probably like a new knight in shining armor coming in for you here. I feel like you're saying, you know what? I deserve that. I deserve the knight in shining armor. I'm going to move towards that. For others, it's like you could maybe just be, maybe you just live somewhere or you deal with family who just who are just toxic, who just, um, you know, again, they're family, but maybe they don't see more. I feel like this reading is just saying that you see that there's more to life than whatever this is here, whatever these conflicts and competition and challenges that you've been dealing with, it's like you know that you're capable of more as well. You have this hidden talents card, you know? That hidden talents card, I feel like is saying that you could create, you are like creating your own reality or there's some sort of talent that you wanna release, but um, maybe just people in your life don't see it. So uh, let's clarify this and get more details here, Aquarius, for you. And let's see what's coming up. Uh, between the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Four of Spades. Taking a break, 
I feel like for some of you, you have taken a break, again, probably to analyze your situation. For some of you, I do feel like you've maybe taken a step back from someone you're in love with as well. Or maybe you've taken a break from someone that you do feel like you could be in love with or whatever. And I feel like this is probably for the best, really. Uh, between the Five of Wands and the Page of Cups, you have the Six of Clubs. I do feel like for some of you, love could be a burden at this time. So it's like maybe you're just taking a step back from love in general. It's Maybe it's not saying that you're not allowing love into your life. It's just saying right now, maybe you have other things, Six of Swords, that you need to heal, correct, or whatever. So I feel like for some of you, you could just be taking a step back from love. Between the King of Wands here and the Seven of Clubs, you have the Ace of Clubs, it's card of marriage. So again, I'm wondering if some of you were married to this king, king of wands person, I mean, uh, could have been an Aries, could be any sign really, but just someone very strict stern, someone who has a very fixed view of the world. Uh, Aries is not a fixed sign, but I just feel like it's someone who has like a very fixed view of how the world works. And it's kind of like hard to break them away from that. Um, so again, there could have been a marriage there. Between the Seven of Pentacles and Six of Swords, yeah, Three of Diamonds, this card is called Lightning in this deck. Um, but to me, this could just be a divorce or separation. So again, I do feel like some of you are just, in, even if it's outside of love, I feel like you could just be kind of separating away from toxic energy. Between the Page of Cups and the Devil, you have the Tower. The Tower is a card of isolation. Um, it's not like the Tower and the Tarot, but it, it can just represent feeling isolated. You have two sixes here though. Uh, no matter what sixes show up in the Lenormand, I love two sixes like this because to me it says you're on the right path. Even if things seem crazy and all over the place, maybe even if you're not sure where where you want to put your heart at this time with that seven of pentacles it does say things are working out now between the seven of wands here and the emperor you have the eight of clubs this is called the mountain and it can represent just experiencing or having experienced a lot of difficulties and challenges again in this situation so there's really not much to say there uh, between the Six of Swords here and the Three of Wands, is it the truth is what I feel like you're asking. For some of you, I feel like you see these people here on this Four of Wands. Like I said, this might not be people. This could just be um, you know, some sort of work opportunity or it could be you making more money. It could be you um, moving or moving somewhere new in your life or it could be you uh, moving away from family or doing things again that you never thought were possible in your life. But you're like, is it possible? <laughs> the Queen of Clubs is like a card of seduction. For some of you, I'm wondering if this is like true love. In your life and you're just like this could be someone new that's coming in and you're like is this just like um you know am i just feeling like i need, am in love with this person you know is it real is this real love am i just obsessed with this person or um is this like true love i feel like the, that's like the question you're asking yourself here uh, between the devil and the temperance card, you have the ace of spades, the lady. Now, this card of existing problems being resolved. So I do feel like you could be overcoming obstacles and challenges with that card. So I like that. Between the Emperor and the Four of Wands, you have the fish, your true soulmate. Uh, the fish is the King of Diamonds, and it can represent your true soulmate coming in for you. So you could be, I feel like you are tr choosing to move towards like your true soulmate, basically. Um, and it could be any sign. Again, a lot of people always ask me, is it Pisces with this card? And I always say no. Although it is interesting, you have this fish in this Page of Cups. I do feel like you need to make sure that something doesn't slip away from you here. Um, this is also an amazing card for a harvest. So there could be a harvest coming in for you. And your top row outcome, yeah, I feel like you're gonna choose to separate away from things that are no longer toxic or no longer good for you. With the devil, uh, I you have the fork in the road card here and the three of wands. So it's like you're kind of like trying to decide, like, do I move on from this situation or do I, do I commit here? I feel like you're choosing to move away from this toxic energy in this row here. Something, it, like, I get a very defensive energy as well. So I'm wondering if you're dealing with a person who's just always defensive or on the defense or something like that. And, but I feel like you're choosing to move away from that with this three of spades. Uh, in the middle row here, you have the five of hearts. Five of Hearts is new love. So I feel like for some of you, again, you're just moving towards new love. It is also card of jealousy to be ignored. I would ignore any jealousy you're dealing with. And bottom row here, two of spades here. Again, two of spades is separation. So I feel like some of you are just going through a separation at this time. For some of you, it's like you already have um, like new love lined up here with this king of diamonds. So it's like you could be going through a separation, but it's like you already know who you're gonna make your move towards with this king of diamonds. Uh, one thing before I forget, the three of diamonds is a very specific card. It says, be very careful with your paperwork. Um, so any important paperwork that you're signing or that you're um, filling out, whatever, be very careful with that. 
because uh, it can represent problems with paperwork or uh, it can represent having, you know, kind of experiencing obstacles with paperwork, basically. Yeah, you, know, you have the four diamonds. You need to be patient at this time. Jack of clubs, don't beat yourself up over the past is what I'd say there. Seven of spades, good news. I feel like there's good news coming in for you as, as well. It's a weird reading. Uh, like I said, I feel very back and forth on it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like for some of you, this is definitely a choice to make between someone who is like strict, stern, has a very fixed view of the world and someone new. I feel like there could be, if you don't already have someone who's very expansive in your world, I feel like there's someone very like expansive coming in for you. Someone who has a very big world view. I feel like that could be a little bit scary with the, and, and that's this here. I get like a question here. You have the queen of clubs with the three of wands, you know, it's like you could be meeting someone where they almost seem too good to be true, but I don't, it, but they're not. I feel like, and uh, you know, I feel like you could ask that question. You're like, man, you know, are they too, are they too unrealistic in life or whatever? But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like their actions are, you know, I feel like they're a person of action. And I feel like that's what will sell you on someone new coming in for you is it's like they might seem too good to be true, but I also feel like they have the actions to back up their words. It's like they're not just words, you know? So I feel like that's the good news here, but kind of a weird reading. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it at the same time here. Yeah, I feel like time, I would be careful here of missing out on something here with this page of cups. I feel like for some of you, this could be like a work offer as well that comes in. So I'd grab onto it here. It might be a temporary position I'm getting as well, Aquarius. So I'd make sure to commit to anything um, or I'd, I would grab onto it basically, especially if you need money or something like that. Yeah, or I, I would be careful of feeling left out. You know, you have that orphan card here, flexible. I do feel like you're gonna need to be more flexible in something here. I do feel like you're changing the way you look at things with this temperance card as well. So I feel like that's a good thing also. But uh, this is weird, like I said, interesting. Sorry, Aquarius, I don't know how to feel about this. But um, I'm gonna be doing your November reading anyway and your weeklies as always. So, you know, there will be more guidance coming up. But uh, that's what I have for you. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy the rest of your month.